this is gonna be a video of my 2000 Corvette that's up for sale. I'll show you a little bit about the car, I'll tell you about a few of the modifications. The car's a 2000, it was originally silver, it was repainted. Uh, it's now a light blue metallic. Um, paint looks nice. It's got reproduction Z06 wheels. Um, front tires have pretty decent tread. The back tires are getting down there. They're going to need to be replaced soon. Uh, the car is a target top. Has a refinished uh, smoke glass top. It's not in perfect shape. It has uh, minor scratches and uh, ripples in it. rims aren't perfect, they have nicks, um, the tires as you can see are relatively low in the rear. The tail lights are smoked, just a light tint to make them look darker. Aftermarket custom exhaust, long tube headers. got a small crack in the windshield here small cr small crack in the top there neither of these leak they're not going anywhere they're not spreading don't really notice it too much Let me go ahead and turn the car off the interior is very clean all the leather is in good shape the dash is clean. The car does have a new heads-up display unit, but it does not work for some reason. Aftermarket stereo system, um, aftermarket Pioneer, Pioneer speakers in the doors, a little bit better than the stock Bose ones. Uh, Corbo A4 racing seats. These are about the nicest seats you can fit in a Corvette. Uh, the stock seats are pretty much garbage. They have inflatable bolsters that will inflate the lumbar. Um, let's see what else. Uh, the car has a Z06, C6 Z06 shifter, um, C6 Z06 clutch. Um, right now, it has an aftermarket sound system, which will be optional with the sale. Custom subwoofer box. Um, with an amp. This sub uh, box is deeper than most of the ones that you see because I custom made it so that it will fit bigger subwoofers than just the slim fit subs um, and the target top fits perfectly over top of it. No issues at all securing the top. Um, as you can see the car is very clean inside and out. Take very good care of it. It's always stored inside. It's never seen a winter, never seen salt. <clears throat> does have 178,000 miles on the body. The body was repainted. Most of the um, suspension parts are new. Let's see. 179,903 miles now on the car. <clears throat> no check engine lights. Um, the radio has MP3 hookup with iPod and all those cords. <clears throat> Show you a little bit about the engine. The car has a 410 gear rear end. Um, <clears throat> TPIS, long tube ceramic coated headers. Um, the heads were built a little bit better. Stronger valves and springs, retainers, all that stuff was done when the engine was rebuilt. It's got an Edelbrock cam, um, LS6 intake manifold, which is... Alright, running out of time. Um, cold air intake. Uh, the whole complete modification list will be on the ad. Um, 
It's a great car, it runs awesome. I drive it, like I said, almost every day in the summer, which is why most of the miles are on there. Um, on the highway, I drive almost 100 miles a day. The car's been very reliable, no problems with it. Um, the reserve on the car is gonna be set very low. Um, you'll never find another modified Corvette like this at the price that the reserve is gonna be on this car. So, hope you guys like it. Um, like I said, this car's my pride and joy. I really don't wanna sell it, but I don't really have any other option. So, as you can see, interior is very clean. Exterior. All right, in this video, I'm gonna to try to go over all the problem areas on the car. Um, that cosmetically are wrong with the car. Um, I'll start with, there's a small crack here in the fender. Um, this has been here since I bought the car. Uh, the previous owner said that it was sealed up from the back side. It has not spread at all since I've owned the car. You can't even see it from, you know, a few feet away. Um, you can only see it if you're right up on it. Like I said, the tires are going to need to be replaced soon. Um, the rims have some light curb rash on them. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it was sanded and you know just brush touched. They don't look bad from a couple feet away. Um, let's see. What else? Um, there's going to be some small scrapes, I mean, on the lower side of the car car is very low um, I don't know if you can see but on the bottom of the fender you got a small scrape there um, no curb rash at all on this rim this tire has a little bit better tread than the other one As I mentioned before, there's a small crack in the glass top here. This does not leak at all. Um, and then a small crack in the windshield, which does not leak. I mean, you can see that's about the size of my, half of my finger. It doesn't really show from about here, you can't see it. Um, the top has some small blemishes in it from being refinished. There's a couple flat spots, nothing crazy. The driver's seat has a small tear here in the bolster. I don't know if you can see that. It's about half an inch, half an inch to an inch. Uh, I glued this. It's not tearing anymore. Um, the seats themselves were faded. I resprayed them with a vinyl spray. Um, I just recently did that, so they still have a little bit of a, a harsher feeling to them, but they do soften up. Over time, you can see that the lettering there, where the color was faded previously before, there was a slight line there. I didn't have time to go over all that. Um, as far as the interior goes, <clears throat> the center console no longer stays up. Not a huge deal. Um, Boy, there's not really, I mean, too much um, small, small crack in the uh, plastic panel there. Really, the interior is in pretty nice shape for a car with this high miles. Paint's in pretty good shape. Um, the gaskets on the doors are starting to get dry rotted a little bit. Um, they don't leak at all in the rain. Got a small scratch there. Nothing that you can see from the outside of the car. There is a small scratch here in the fender. I don't know if you can even see that. There you go. It's, it's hard to see, especially with the color of the car. It's overcast today, so the car doesn't look very shiny, but it's just buffed and waxed. A um, little bit of curb rash on this wheel. Like I said, from this distance, very hard to see. you got to be right up on it to notice it, because I took most of it off. There's the tread on this tire. Not too bad. 
car has is regular stone chips in the front bumper. I don't know if you can see that. One there on the license plate covers. A few stone chips there. Um, some scraping on the underside of the bumper. Nothing that's going to show. The car is extremely low. It's almost impossible to keep it from scraping. Um, that's really pretty much it for cosmetics. Um, a little chip there on the mirror. A little spot where I went through with the buffer. Um, to be honest with you, for the miles, the, the body on the car is nicer than most of the Corvettes that I've seen around with half the miles. Um, I take very good care of it. I always wash it, wax it. Like I said, it was just buffed. It's just waxed. Interior was just detailed. Everything's very clean. Uh, there's a full list of modifications on the ad. Car is very fast. It's very fun. Great running car. Absolutely love it. Um, I don't know if you like, if I can show you the underside of the car. I may take another video later from the lift, but the car is. It's very clean underneath. It's just as clean underneath as it is on the top of the car. Like I said, it's never seen a winter, never seen snow or salt. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, any questions, feel free to send me an email. Um, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said, this is uh, probably the cheapest built Corvette that you're going to find. Uh, very good running car. Uh, that's it.